accountability might be one thing, right? So you, you tell yourself that, okay, I know that I'm going to probably eat heavier, richer foods on Thanksgiving, but I will balance that maybe by the following day, getting outside, doing exercise, and being active, um, not eating simple carbohydrates and processed foods, so that you sort of balance maybe doing a little bit more for the holidays to celebrate opportunities where you have time with your families, but then commit to sort of making sure that the days afterwards that you are doing something to balance maybe where you're going a little bit beyond what you would normally do. Eat some healthier foods and snacks before you go, like a high protein food, um, and so that when you get to the actual events, like at your family members' houses or friends, that you're not so hungry that you're gonna consume more than you would normally consume. You drink a lot of water, that will give you some sensation of being fuller, and then you will consume less. Hydration is very important. People consume more alcohol during the holidays, and alcohol is directly toxic to the heart. So if you drink an excessive amount of alcohol, it can cause a cardiomyopathy, or weakening of the heart muscle because of the direct toxic effects that alcohol has. So it's not just an issue that holiday heart is a benign condition, it actually is a very potentially serious condition that causes people to develop heart failure symptoms like shortness of breath. Oftentimes that's associated with patients going into atrial fibrillation, which is associated with a higher risk of stroke. Uh, and so that's something that um, is often attributed to excess consumption of alcohol during the holidays, hence why it's called holiday heart syndrome. Certain people might be more predisposed to it, but you can have no history of any heart-related conditions and drink excessively or consume too much alcohol during the holidays, and you could create a situation where you develop atrial fibrillation, congestive heart failure, even in the absence of any pre-existing risk factors.